everyone, this is Brittany from Teach Me ABA, and today I'm so excited we're going to continue on our task list series for those individuals that are studying for the upcoming BCBA exam. And today we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about C-6, and that's measuring trials to criterion. So let's get into it. <laughs> If you have been reading our blogs, if you've been watching the series, then we've been going over and we've been discussing currently the dimensions of measuring behaviors. Now, each dimension is important depending on what behavior you're going to go ahead and measure. Up next, we're going to be talking about derivative measures of behavior, which are those measures that are direct measures of dimensional qualities of behavior. Now, this includes trials to criteria. Now, what that means is that it's defined as measures of the number of responses of opportunities needed to achieve a predetermined level of performance. So what do I mean by that? In other words, it's a certain number of trials or presentation of a skill uh, and it needs to occur before a person is considered proficient. Now, this is definitely important for those clients where we're teaching them skill or we're teaching them to perform a certain task in such a way that it's perfect, right? So we're talking about tying shoes, we're talking about brushing your teeth. These are very important independent skills that an individual needs to have. For example, let's say that your BCBA or your program manager wrote in the goal for your client that they need to get through three trials of brushing their teeth at 100% independence. Something that's really important about trials to criterion is that when we implement this kind of procedure, we are essentially helping this individual problem solve with this particular task. If any of us remember, is tying our shoes is probably one of the toughest things to do. So it's really good that we break this down and that we have a criterion for them to be considered proficient. Another note is that this is going to give that individual an increase in independence over time. And that's exactly what we want for all of our clients. So if you've kept an eye on all of our videos, I'm really hoping that you got a lot of information. If you did not, we are happy to answer anything below. So go ahead and leave us a comment. Please like, subscribe, and share. And good luck studying out there. We'll see you next time.